new 60 Minutes report reveals it may be much easier to hack into a personal cell phone than you might think. British officials say 97% of hospitals effectively shut down by a massive cyber attack. Parts of the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, went dark. You might have bought the phone, but whoever hacked it, they're the one who owns it. Russia, the United States, and many points in between have been hit by what's now a common form of cyber crime. If they're so readily accessible to hackers, why aren't they more secure then? At the Cybersecurity Institute, we aim to make cybersecurity safe, understandable, but continue to allow people to make it useful, to make people's lives better because they benefit from new capability. John has a long history of doing research from the industry side. When he was at Microsoft, he often funded research projects with academia. And I think the opportunity to now go at it from the other direction and think about how to be creative and work with both government and industry from the university side and to really build something was very attractive. The biggest surprise for me is just how large the data breaches are getting to be. That we're talking about, instead of hundreds or thousands of individuals being affected, we're talking about millions. Even apparently innocuous looking information can tell people a lot about us. Clearly, it, there's a pressing need, and for Northeastern, the time is now because we have this wonderful, wonderful, critical mass of people that cover every aspect of cybersecurity and privacy. So there's you know, typically multiple faculty authors on a given paper. And we sort of joke that if anybody wanted to come and try to steal us to go to another university, they really have to steal the whole group. There's a really wide set of problems that our institute has expertise in that in general you're not going to find at any other institution.